Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So in our video we did yesterday, I made these lovely little booklets out of scrap paper um, and some staples and some of this lovely craft tape. Um, and I'm just sort of like popping bits of paper together to make a little journal. So we're using up all our little scraps um, and they've made these beautiful little journals and I am just loving them. Um, so all it is is staples and tape, so no gluing or anything like that. It was just sticking and stapling. Um, so I've gessoed them. Well, I've gessoed a couple of them. I'm going to show you this one in a minute because it will give you an idea of where I was heading um, for today. So what I've done last night, I just gave a little bit of gesso over the top just to give it a chance to sort of like dry um, just so that we can add a little bit of colour to it. We can't get them too wet because this is just sort of like coffee stain paper and it's quite thin. So that's why I've put the gesso on just so that we've got a little bit um, to add some colour and things to and I just think they are lovely. So we've got lots of lovely little pages in here just to have a play, just a nice one to play. Um, so this is the sort of idea. So what I've got on here, I've got some of these aqua crayons um, underneath which goes on top of the gesso. I've done a little bit of drawing on here which I have a pigment liner, these ones that I use. Um, I've got some of the Tapology um, ephemera which I thought would look nice on the front and some fabric. Um, so this is it, I've just coloured it and it's just a fun, fun project just for yourselves, just something that you can do um, and we've got all this lovely colour on here, little bits of fabric that I've stuck on I've done a little flower and I've added a little bit of lace on there a little bit of lace down the side beautiful, a little bit of cheesecloth I've clipped one of these little pads on there just with a little paper clip um, and I just think they're lovely. So we've got some little flowers. I just think this is just so pretty. So you, if you want to have a little doodle, you can have a little doodle in here, can't you? A little bit of fabric down the sides. Um, I just think they are lovely. Really, really lovely. Um, and it's a nice little pretty one, isn't it? So look, oh, I've done some more flowers on the back like that. So I'll just show you quickly how I do those flowers. What should we do? Should we do some on this page? Really, really simple. So just take, I've got a little pen here. It's 0.05. So it's very, very thin. Um, and all as I'm doing, I'm just going to just do some doodly flowers. So up to the top, round, round like that. And there we go. We've got a little flower. Just so simple. Let's go up, round. So you can do any type of flower you want, but these just look lovely, don't they? Just, you don't even have to take the pen off the paper. Just a little doodle, and I think that's lovely. You can add a little bit of colour, you can leave it like that. Or we can have the little, little tiny one in the corner. So you want sort of like five petals, so you go down like that. So it doesn't matter what size they are but I do believe like an odd number is better and then just keep your pen on the paper go around them sort of twice it doesn't matter which ones you go over just like that and I just think a little circle in the middle lovely super simple little flower we can do another one up in the corner you can still write on this because it's um, it's just gessoed paper that's all Still tea stain paper or coffee stained I use. Look at that. Really simple. Go around it again. Just to give it a nice little sort of doodle look. There we go. Perfect. And then what we've got. I've got a little crayon here. I'm going to pop just, just rub a little bit of, look, super simple isn't it? Look at that. Just a little mark. I've got my watercolour pen. Um, which is getting a bit um, scruffy so you don't want too much water on here look at that isn't that just lovely 
little bit of colour around it and you've got a beautiful little flower and because you can see where you've got the um, texture of the gesso it gives it a lovely lovely look and I love it so really really good okay so that's what we're aiming for that type of thing um, so what I thought I would do I'm just going to show you how I gesso it I've got this lovely piece of paper which I was using yesterday to pop under the pages um, and I'm loving that it looks really nice so all I've done I popped a piece of paper under there like that I'm going to take my gesso got my big pot of gesso just take a nice big brush and then just do this it's really really um, simple go over it like that okay this is why I did mine last night because it gives it time to dry um, and then because this is quite thin paper um, you don't want to get it wet too much on there and too wet but that's all as I did was that turn it over and then pop that in I've only got that underneath just so it's it gives it a little bit of strength underneath there and we're not um, going onto the other pages and sticking them all together so like that and you see you need to leave it to dry a little bit let me just pop that under there a little bit more because you just need to do sort of like a few pages at a time pop that up there and then I'm going to just leave that to dry but I'm loving that piece and you see so really really easy peasy so if you make a few of these little booklets and then um, just um, gesso over the top I'm going to leave that one to dry over there for a minute um, and then it will be ready to add little bits and pieces to so it's a really nice little sort of art journal isn't it so what, what shall we do? Shall we do another little sort of flower up here? Now I've got lots of bits and pieces here and this is all my tapeology stuff. So all these little bits are quite nice, aren't they, to um, add on to the journals. I've got little stamps in there, I've got all sorts of things. I've got this little lady on there which looks quite nice but I think I might just, I don't really need too much on here. Now I'm going to be using my glue gun on this one. What's this? Do you think that's a sticker? That looks like a sticker, doesn't it? Oh, that's even easier. Let's pop a little sticker on there. Look at that. Pop that there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my brown crayon, which is the watercolour crayon, and just do a little bit around now my poor watercolour pens pen water yeah watercolour pen it's looking a bit um, worn out so just add a little bit of shadow around here like that looks good doesn't it maybe I'll add just a little bit of brown maybe we'll have this one a little bit more vintagey like that as long as you don't get it too wet because we don't want it to sort of like go through you can see because this is just um, tea stain coffee stain paper it just sort of goes through so should we just do a little flower coming up through here let's just do a little one like this just go over the top just little petals and we just have a sort of funny looking leaf coming up there there we go what colour shall we have this one shall we have a little bit of green down here little bit of yellow on the leaf and should we have a little sort of orangey flower seeing it's a bit more vintagey a little bit of orange maybe we could add a little bit of brown in there in a minute if it needs it 
don't think so. Let's just pop a little bit of... But I just think it's just a simple, simple one today. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? So that's your first page. Easy, isn't it? So, so you can see you've got to be really, really careful like that. So shall we just add a little bit? Look, I've got lots of little bits of lace on here as well. We could just add little bits to the side of the page, couldn't we? What do you reckon? Should we just cut that off? Oops. Oops. Oh my gosh. Too much stuff on my table again. Okay, glue gun, glue gun today. I'm just going to pop a little bit down through there. Let's just stick this on like that. Nice and scruffy. Look at how easy. So get all your little scraps as well. Or your little bits of scrap fabric like I've got some of this beautiful stuff these are the, the little um, spools that I made and this is sort of um, this is silk it's like little bits of sort of like a sari silk on here so let's just take a little bit of that off oh, where did that go oh there it is pop that on there love my little spools Let's go down this end, shall we? Shall we pop a little bit on this page? Like this, and then I think we'll go through it with a little bit of the colour on the pages. So all of these can just be tucked up. Nice little bits hanging off. There we go. A little bit of colour. Should we have a little bit of... Quite like the brown and the orange. It looks nice, doesn't it? Just a nice little... It almost looks rusty then. Perfect. So this is the white that I had on the back of um, this piece of digital paper. So let's just add a bit of a colour to that. There we go. Okay, not too much water. Put a little bit of colour on here. And then you can just go through it. If you want to keep, if you want to change colour, you can. But I think I will probably just carry on with the brown and the orange. Just scribble, basically. Just having a little scribble. Now, if you haven't got these water crayons, just use normal crayons. You can just colour it in. You can use a little bit of ink if you want to. Whatever you've got, use whatever um, mediums that you have. You can use some watercolours. If you've got watercolours, you can. But again, be careful um, of the paper. Can you see the beautiful textures that's coming out? Just lovely. And these, remember, these are just sort of like background colours. So you can add anything on top of this. Well, I just think they look lovely. Shall we have a little bit of colour on here? That's quite white, isn't it? You can see exactly where the, um, the gesso is on here. So this one's a little bit different than doing a canvas today, isn't it? Now, if you get it too wet, just make sure you can dry it with your little heat gun or something. 
let's sort of go long ways. Show me on this one. This is like a little pocket. This is one I had a, like a little pocket in this one. So we might be able to find something to pop in there. Let's have got enough water in there. Beautiful, love that. Okay, I think I might have to just dry this in a minute. Let me just give that a quick blast. There we go. So let's just make our way through our lovely little journal. Let's go. I've got, I'll add a little bit more fabric to it in a minute. I've got some pencils as well, some watercolour pencils I could use actually to do some flowers on there. A little bit of orange. Just gives such a lovely, lovely texture. Okay, so shall we do a few little bits on the first pages? Okay, shall we stick something on here like that we don't want? Let's have a look. I've got some of these beautiful papers. Now I do like this one. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm going to just take a little bit of this off these colours go really really well. Maybe I'll just pop it down. Just a little bit of a collage I think. Let me just stick it on with my glue gun. That's a noisy plane outside. I don't know whether you can hear that. It's one of the planes that has um, the banners hanging from the back of it. It's sort of an advertising plane and they come very, very close here because we're pretty close to the beach. Look at that. Doesn't that look really, really nice? Now again, what I might do Look at that. It's just lovely little collagey pages. Put that there. Look how nice and sort of a shiny that is. Love it. I've got some got some little ball pins here as well. I wonder if I've got any buttons. A little button would be quite nice hanging off there. Hang on a sec. Okay, I've got some little button things in here. Now again, I've tidied my room up so I can't find anything. I have some little brown buttons in a jar. But of course, I don't know yet where I've put them. So let's just pop a little bowl pin through there. And hang a little button on there. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Look, I've got all sorts of things that I forget about in in my little pots. All sorts of little goodies. Let's pop that over there. So look at that. How lovely is that? Really, really nice. So I'm going to leave that one just in case I want to write something on there. Should we turn this over? What should we pop on here? Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Should we just 
could actually add one of these to the pages in a minute as well. Oh, that's the little pocket. What have we got that we can pop in the pocket? Should we have this little lady? She fits. Does she fit? Just, I'm not quite sure how, how big that pocket is. Let's see, I'm going to stick my finger in there. There we go. That's better. Should we pop this on here? Oops. It's got little flowers on. Let's pop a little bit of this onto there. Just like that. Is she going to go in a little bit further? There we go. Lovely. Now these have got like little flowers on. So should we just draw like a little... Should we add it to this so it looks like the flower? Into a little wiggly wobbly. You see, so this is this has got like little lines on, so you can just sort of like follow it around. So let's just do this one. Wiggle it around. That looks good. Let's add in. I think this is a sort of yellowy, goldy colour. That might work, might not it? Just sort of left the pen to dry really a little bit more. Perfect. Perfect. We could do some diddy little button in the middle. Let's see what we've got. That's a tiny little button. Can we just pop that in the middle? Well, that's a better side. Use that as the middle of the button, of the flower, I mean. Look at that. Lovely. Put another little diddy doddy button in here. So another one. Let's pop that over there. That one's got a sequin on it, actually, but I think I'll pop a little button over the top just to add that on there oh look at that doesn't that look really nice I do like that so yes definitely a fun little project today if I can speak should we just have that on there I think sometimes it's good to do things like this. If you're not used to doing things like this, then give it a go because it's nice to get out of your little comfort zone, isn't it? Just stick things on. Oops, that's a bit sticky. Perfect. Lovely. Look at that. That's a lovely little pocket. I do like that. Not that this is going to be a very easy one to um, close up. It might get quite big, but oh, just loving it. Don't have to fill every page, but I probably will because I like doing this. So we just have this so it comes all the way up. Look at these super easy flowers to do. Don't even know have to be able to draw a flower. Look at that. That's sort of like not really any flower. It's just a bit of a, a random. I might actually do this. Go around that again. go lovely what color should we go for the brownie what color is this oh it's gold right it's gold gosh I really need to get a new one of these
looks lovely with the golds and the oranges, doesn't it? We have a bit of a different green in here. Have a, oops, have a rummage through. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Should we add a little bit? What's this? I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is just sort of like the end of a piece. This is was such a pretty, I think it was a little top, but it's got these gorgeous little flowers on it. Lacy flowers. I think that's all I have left because I have used most of it. Gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that just lovely? Do we need anything on this one? What have I got on here? Little bits of bits of this and bits of that. That's nice, isn't it? Let's just using a glue gun is very very quick as well. Isn't that just lovely? So I'm sure you will be able to draw these little flowers because they are just the most simplest thing ever, aren't they? Just lovely. Oops. Make sure we don't stick everything down. Let's add a bit of colour to this page. A little bit of brown. Now you can go through it um, and just do all the colour and then go back um, and add in some texture, some little bits and pieces on there, some little dingly danglies. Let's, shall we do the rest of the colour in this. I don't want to um, make it too wet. What's this bit? This is sort of like a little, has that got a little pocket? No. No. I don't know how many pockets I did or whether I just sealed them up. Yeah, I'm liking the brown and the orange. It's very sort of 70s colours, I think. But it looks good. There we go, I don't want to make it too wet so it comes through. Let's turn this over. Okay, so that is lovely. Loving how this is looking. Looks really nice. Now I'm going to quickly just blast it over with a um, with the heat gun, just so the pages are dry. Lovely. So I think that's all pretty much dry now. Now I am just loving this. Look at that. I think that looks really good, doesn't it? little bit. That I'm loving. That page is fabulous. Oh, I like them all. I like them all. So what should we do on this one? Should we do another flower or should we find something? Maybe I'll use a little bit more of this. Do 
do you think I could put that through? Now I'm going to tear this top piece off. Like this. Just wondering. Oh, maybe I could put this in the middle. Is that the middle? Where's the middle? Did I use the middle? Where's the middle of my book? It is the middle. That is the middle. Okay, so let's just fold this in half. Just so we can squash that into the middle like that. Shall we have it on that top piece? Okay, I'm going to glue gun it on. lovely 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 now I'm not I don't mind if these little bits fall off because it's like one of these little scruffy sort of things anyway isn't it let's add a little bit more now I would suggest that you give this a go because not just this, but make yourself a little booklet, a little, little scrappy bits, and just get all your bits and pieces, like crayons and stuff, um, and just have a play. Because, like I said before, it gets you out of your comfort zone, and it is fun. Because it doesn't matter how you do it. Now oh, I'm loving that. Oh maybe I'll have orange along this little top bit. There we go. Fabulous. Shall we add a little bit of something? add a little bit of this that looks nice doesn't it oh I can rip it oh that's good look at that pop that on there pop that down let's just scrunch that up so this, this isn't necessarily one that you would write in but you could but you could just fill your pages with all sorts of little bits and pieces. Now, I think I might pop another little staple in here, this way round. There we go. Because then I've got another little pocket. It's only a tiny little pocket, isn't it? So let's find something that we can pop in the pocket. What do we got on here? Let's see, I've got all sorts of little bits. Shall we just have a little... There we go, let's just have like that. That's nice, isn't it? So, perfect. Love that. Love that. Shall we have something down here? Look, that's pretty, isn't it? just have a little let's just have a little piece just on there nice little spotty piece now this underneath I put that underneath because I was just sewing but it keeps moving about look at that lovely right how are we doing Got the little flower. What should we put on that page? Should we put something on that page? Let's stick something on here, shall we? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, what should we put on there? We've got the rest of this piece, haven't we? Shall we just pop a little pocket in there? Let's take this little piece off because we don't need it all, do we? Stick 
that on that page. I do like this. I'm going to stick that over the top, I think. Let's just stick this on there for a minute before I stick it on. There we go. Beautiful pocket. Perfect. Do we have something? What do we got? Should we just pop a little, little set of tickets in there for a minute? That looks fun, doesn't it? I'm going to leave that page. What should we put? Oh gosh, it's all falling apart. Where's my tape? I think, look, I've pulled it a little bit. Should we pop a little bit of tape on there? We can fix it with tape. Look at that. Let's pop some tape so it's not going to fall apart. What about this side? Pop a little bit on this side as well. There you go. You wouldn't even know. There we are. Lovely. It's a fun little project we're doing today. I like this. What have I done with my little button? There we go. Pop that down. What should we have on here? I might actually. That's the middle. I might stick one of my little pads of paper in there. I need to do it. I can't do it on that one. It'd be quite nice if we could have it so it goes over the top of something wouldn't it I think maybe I'll just maybe I'll just get a little got a little um, black paper clips here do you think that will work it'll clip onto this one I think it needs to go on a bigger page Maybe I'll pop it on this harder page. That's better. Let's pop it on there. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? I think I'm going to draw a little flower on there. So which way should we come? Should we come... Um, let's just go... little flower with a little leaf there. Lovely. Should we do it pink? No gesso on this one. Look at that. Lovely. I do like that. There we go. Little one. Where was I? What was I doing? I was on this page, wasn't I? Got a little bit waylaid. Now, I'll tell you what I do have. I've got these little... Do you remember we made these the other day? Pop that one. one there like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to do then I'm going to get one of my little paper clips and paper clip that on now do I have something in this pile of all sorts now I think these are like transparent stickers oh what's that oh that's quite nice isn't it these stickers that's a sticker. A little bit big to go on there though, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to just cut a little bit of this off. This is 
This is a sticker as well, I believe. Let's have a look. If I can get it off. There's my sellotape. Let's see if I can take this off. off again take a piece of tape it's so much easier to take the backings off oh oh I thought that was upside down then here we go lovely what color should we add a little bit of orange to this one nice now we need one shall we put the other bit over on to this side let's take this off a minute let's put this piece on here this feels almost like washi tape this does put that on there little bit of colour doesn't matter if it goes on there because that's um, shiny, isn't it? So there we go. Look at that. Love that. I'm going to leave this one. And let's just add a little bit of colour to it. There we go. love it love it okay that's that side so that's the other side of this don't think we need anything should we have just a little bit of a little bit of um, a collagey bit shall we on here i think that would be quite nice wouldn't it Perfect. I'm not going to put anything on there. Got this. Look at all these pages we've got. Oh, I popped that one on there. I do like that little flower on there. Should we do another flower on here? Where's my pen? What sort of flower? Should we just do some of those little doodly ones? Don't take your pen off the paper, just go round. It's quite simple. Look how messy that looks. But I think they look really, really lovely. Let's do a little middle bit. Go around it twice. There we go. Look at that. Love them. I might just do that one down here. Just like that. And lovely. We oh, I don't want pink, do I? Let's go for let's go for the orange one. Oops, I think I was talking too much. My battery went, so there we go. Let's just colour these little ones in. Like this. Loving these. There we go. 
So it's a nice little mixed media journal, isn't it? Perfect. Okay, we could do with something else on here, I think. Oh, look, I've got these beautiful little tags. I think they're a bit big. What's that? Oh, it's like a little... Oh, I could sort of like use that as a little tuck. That's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to pop that in there. Do you think that will stay? Do you think I could pop... Maybe I'll pop another little staple in this bit here. So it's almost like a pocket. There we go. Oh, it's like a little hidden pocket, isn't it? Oh, that looks good. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that page. We've got that lovely little one on there, which I'm loving. I do like that little flower. That's good, isn't it? Should we pop something? Look, that's nice. That's like, oh, this is like coffee stain embroidery anglaise on there. Should we have a little, little something that dingle dangles down? Shall we have a little cluster? I'm going to staple it. Let's see how my staple is going to be working for me today. Perfect. Oopsie daisy. That's that paintbrush again. I keep flinging everywhere. Look at that. Lovely. Doesn't that look nice? Now I would like something down the edge of this page. That's pretty, isn't it? Do you think that's too white? Do you think we need? Oh no, I don't think so, is it? Yes. Can't really see it. So I'm going to take a little bit off. I'm going to colour down here. So we've got. I'm actually going to put this underneath it so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pop a little bit of colour. Gosh, I'm very noisy. Can you hear this? It's very noisy paper. And brush and everything, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to dry that in a minute. Okay, lovely. Now, if I pop that little piece which I just flung over there. Is that the piece? No, it's not. It's this piece, isn't it? There we go. Can you see that? Not really, can you? I'll put it behind so it pops out. Maybe I will do that instead. Pop it down there so it peeks out from that side. That's what we'll do. Let's pop a little bit of glue along there. Stick that down. Can we see that? this underneath. There we go. Oh gosh, if I stuck it to the paper. Oh, what a silly billy I have, haven't I? Oh my gosh, I've just stuck this to the paper. God, that wasn't the brightest thing to do, was it? There we go. Oops, don't rip. There we go. Okay. That's better. That's stuck down. That's lovely. Oh, look at this, guys. Doesn't it look nice? We don't know that little bit of acetate. That looks lovely. Now, I need a little bit of something on these, don't I? Because we've got like a little bare bit in there. Let's pop something. Or oh, should we have... I don't really want pink. Should we pop a little bit of this on the page? Let's take this off. A little bit of glue. Put that in the bottom. Scrunch that up. 
there we go that's better so when we close it like that we've got a little bit of grungy in the middle of it there that's better isn't it evens it out a little bit fabulous that's on there that's on there we need something on these little pages don't we might what we've got here I might actually stick that so that comes to there I'm going to stick that on there because I like that. Shall we do that? Stick that down. Let's have a little bit of glue on here. There we go. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Let's just pop a little bit of this. put anything on that side maybe this side where I've got the gesso just I don't want to get the back of that um, bit of ephemera wet that looks good doesn't it I like that okay we are nearly done with this let's just have something on here what should we have on there let's see I might have got my lovely little flowers on here. We need, let's see, need something a little bit orangey, don't we? Which way round do you go? There we go. I think I'm going to pop you on there. I could probably use it as a little tuck for something. Is that going to be too big? Hmm, might be a little bit too big. Gosh, I've got piles of ephemera on here. Quite liking that. That's quite nice on there. Let's take some of these off. Okay, so that will fit in there. So I need to glue that bit, that bit, and that bit. And then that will sit in there quite nicely, won't it? So let's see, what was it? This bit. I hope my glue sticks one out. There we go, let's pop that in there. So this bit and this bit, and this bit. Oops. Oops, oozy out a little bit. Okay. And then this will just slide in there. Oh, look at that. Absolute perfect fit, isn't it? That just sits in there perfect. Wow. Oh, look. That's like a little seed packet. Oh, I like that. So that attaches to that piece. What can we do? I think it's too big. Too big. But I do like that. Lovely, guys, isn't it? How fun is this? I've really enjoyed doing this one. What have we got? Should we have a little bit? We've got a little bit of... Mm, a bit too shiny, I think. Is this a sticker? No, but that's very nice, isn't it? The Gardens at London, that says. That works really well together, I think. I'm going to just stick this on. Just like that. I'm going to take a little bit of my grungy cheesecloth. 
just a little bit down there. Should we have it? Yeah, I'm going to pop it this side. Let's just stick you on there. Okay, so this is a good mixed media because we've got all sorts of things going on in here, haven't we? Fabulous. Right, I need to put something on that page, but I do like that on there. I'm going to do another flower on here. So which ones have I done? I'm not very adventurous with my flower drawing, am I? So what should we do? Shall we just do a nice one that comes up? Should we just... Do it like this. Shall we do one of these? More of like a leafy one instead of a sort of flower. What do you reckon? Should we have another thing coming out the top like that? Look at that. Very wild and weird, isn't it? Shall we do it green? Perfect. Lovely. Let's have a little bit of brown just on this side. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Loving it. I don't think I'll put anything on the back. I quite like that as it is. Shall we put something on this page? Or should we put something on that page? Which one shall we do? I do like that. That looks nice. I think we need something like that a bit further into this book, don't we? In this side. Maybe I'll do it just so it sort of like evens it up, if you know what I mean. Let's have it going this way. It doesn't have to be as big. Then we could... Just like that. There we go. That's all we need. Just needs a little bit of green we haven't got any green sort of at the beginning have we what's behind this oh that's nothing oops that's brown on there oops well i didn't intend this video to be so long but i've had so much fun doing it and it's a different type of mixed media isn't it not just a painting or a canvas I think it looks great. Let's just have a little bit of brown on that bit. Gosh, I love it. Nice little bit of therapy this is, isn't it? A little bit of art therapy. It's so good. I think it makes you feel so much better when you've had a play in your craft room. So, what should we put on here? what we got left well, I did have some little words but um, I don't think I need them in here actually oh that's perfect that's perfect down here let's just put a little wiggly worm down through there scrunch that up doesn't matter how it's scrunched Chop that off. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But we do need something on there, don't we? Maybe I'll pop one of these. 
use this as a sticker, isn't it? Let's just cut that one off. Put it backwards and it would have worked, wouldn't it? There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Nice little vase of roses. Now I'd quite like that sort of tucked up in there. Shall we have a little bit? my little brown one gone? Gosh, loving these. Loving it. I think I might finish off that pink one this afternoon. Look at that. Absolutely love it. Okay, guys, I think that's probably it. Shall we have a little flip through? So we've got our little um, pen drawing on there. We've got a little cluster with a little... Um, button on there this one we haven't got anything on but that's okay look at that do like this little pocket little pocket there fun what a fun little journal loving it i like that on there i'm glad i put that in there now these are just gorgeous look at that we've got some nice oranges and browns little pink flower so loving it there we go guys fantastic so i hope you have got your little journal that you made yesterday um i'm going to carry on i think and finish off this lovely pink one because this is beautiful i love this one nice little pinky colors and little flowers little doodles and lovely there we go and then i've got this one which will probably be dry soon oh it is dry so i'll finish um gessoing that up um, and then i have another one to play in so there we go guys well thank you so so much for joining me sorry it was so long but i did have fun making it i had fun embellishing it and using so we use the um the lovely watercolor um crayons we've used some typology um, ephemera we've used some fabric we've used pen we've used gesso so it's lovely all sorts of bits and pieces so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me please stay safe take care have fun please give this a go and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye